What up guys and welcome back to Thomas Reacts here on the 360 experience with myself Thomas Maba. So today we are talking about Orania. We are talking about Gaten McKenzie and his visit to Orania. So guys recently Gaten McKenzie went to Orania, a white only town in South Africa, a very controversial topic because this is one topic that got people divided. People are feeling a lot of things about this Orania place. So Gaten McKenzie, the leader of Patrolic Alliance, visited Orania and when he came back from Orania he actually praised the people of Orania he praised them and he believes that there's a lot of things that black people can learn from the people of Orania so guys please tell me what you think about Orania do you believe that in 2023 is it is, is it necessary for us to still have places like Orania what are your thoughts on Orania so guys let's hear what Gaten McKenzie experienced there in Orania made waves recently with his visit to the controversial whites only town of Urania, praising the town's commitment to infrastructure development, technic uh, technical schools and empowering its residents. Mackenzie believes these efforts should serve as a model for the rest of the country. Mackenzie joins me now in the studio to discuss this and more. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> we do appreciate it. Thanks for um, Sure. Let's just, before we get into how you even got into Urania. Let's just start with why. Why did you decide to go visit there and sleep over? Well, basically, you know, I, we in the, in the Patriotic Alliance want to bring all races together, white, black, Indian, colored, under one banner, one God, South Africa. Uh, and, you know, where do you start? You start with the people that want to be separate. And Orania has always been a short word for racism in the black community. And I wanted to go and hear the other side of the story. I wanted to go and understand why is it that you don't want to mix with the rest of South Africa. And I didn't want to judge people. I wanted to go there, hear it first hand, and then make up my own mind. And I managed to get that right. How did you get in? <laughs> and sleep over with your whole crew. I mean, we can't show the whole crew right yeah. now, but you, you, you're never alone. You're always with your crew. How, how did you manage to get in? I think first, I think my surname, Mackenzie, did not have white. I'm just joking, but let me tell you. No, no, we, we, U.S. is one of the people there. They are very close to, a, we have a mutual friend, and he managed to arrange for my visit. And they allowed me in. My first question there was, and I have, I love black coffee. So I didn't know if black coffee was allowed in Orania. <laughs> and he said, no, I can have black coffee. I said, no, that's cool. <laughs> okay, that's a very cheesy um, <laughs> joke. But <laughs> let's just um, start with also what you found when you got there. Because they are perceived to be um, a racist group, not allowing uh, people of color in, in the town. Uh, they're very segregated. I mean, they even have their own currency. But what did you find um, when you went there? I think before we come to the fact they don't allow black people there, what I found, the first thing I found was the town to be clean, very clean. I mean, I've been to towns. I mean, the town is litter free, literally. That's the first thing I found. The second thing is that everybody greets you. It's that town, and not only us, people greet each other. It's nobody walks past without greeting. And I think the third thing we found was, I mean, and this guy proved it to us. One guy was just, they leave their car keys in the, in the car, they leave their laptops on the seat. And that's what I found there. And, and it couldn't have been staged because you drive past a car and you can see that this car has not been locked or people are sitting there. So those are some of the things I found. And I was mightily shocked to see that there's no black person in the town, even the domestic workers, the people living on the street, uh, cleaning the street, the municipal workers, they all white. The people in the hotel that we stayed at uh, in Orania, the people cleaning the rooms are all white. It's a very strange thing to see if you've your whole life seen uh, black labor and you come to a town and there's only white labor. Mm. But also we live in South Africa, it's a very diverse country, so to have a town that is only um, just with white people. Uh, I just want to know what were your conversations like with people because obviously you engaged with people there, you sat down and you had your black coffee with them. Um, but what, what were the conversations like? Did they explain to you the rationale of only having white people in Urania? They've tried to explain to me uh, the reason why they, they didn't say they only have white people. They got this. But, but I didn't buy that. Let me, let me be upfront about that. They're saying that no, anybody can come to Urania 
but you gotta be vetted. You gotta believe in Afrikaans culture. You gotta uh, celebrate holidays like Gelofte Dag. What is Gelofte Dag? It is Reconciliation Day. <laughs> they call it Gelofte Dag. Just for Afrikaners. For Afrikaners, is where they were giving like uh, promise, and it's a, they call it Gelofte Dag. Some black people still call it Dingans Day. It was the Battle of Blood River, which is now known as uh, Reconciliation Day. But I didn't buy the story. I must say that. That's the reason you must be cultured, Africans cultured, you must, uh, the community must say, that one I didn't buy. It, 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 I think they are not honest that they don't want black people there. But they don't say it like that. They don't say you are not welcome if you are not white. But they come, they put, you have to jump through a lot of hoops, which it's impossible to jump through as a non african So I think on that front, uh, they don't say it. They just say that we've got the rules here, but the rules, it's impossible for a non-white to even make it halfway through those rules. So let me, I'm, I'm a little confused. So if you don't subscribe to being, to the Africana culture, you won't be really vetted to go through to Rania, um, and worse off if you're black. No, you, you can go through to Rania, maybe for a visit, like I am black and I was letting but they would. But you gave to McKenzie. Yeah, yeah, that's also another thing. Yes. But also the fact that you cannot buy land. There's a huge demand for land in Orania. I mean, you even have safe properties there. They get different property companies, uh, all their advertising. But to buy land, they got a, they got, there's more demand than supply for houses and land. But you cannot get land there if you're not black. That's the first thing. But the second reason why I also went there is that I wanted to learn what is it about this town because 25 years ago we all said they're not going to last and this town is just getting bigger and this town is just getting bigger and I wanted to go learn and I mean I learned from everyone I learned from my enemies and I learned from my friends and I was mightily surprised I must say with what they're doing there and I think a lot of municipalities must emulate what they're doing there Oh. But what are they doing different that should be emulated? Because there's, I mean, you received a lot of backlash on social media about your visit there with pe many people saying, why would you visit a racist town? But before we get into what you took from your visit and the backlash you received, what are they doing differently that our municipalities here, where there's diversity, the way South Africa should be, that we aren't doing as municipalities that we should emulate? Let me start with the first thing. They said to me that they stole something from the black community. And I was curious about that. Mm. They said they stole the stock fell idea. Stock fell idea. But they, the stock fell idea, which they stole from us, according to them, they evolved into a bank. They got a bank there, 3,000 people with a bank, and it doesn't stop at the bank. The bank is literally nationalized in the sense that every person banking in that bank, at that bank has got a shareholding in the bank. So it's not just, I mean, that's groundbreaking. Uh, it's, they basically nationalized the bank because it belongs to the people, not even to the state, more than that. What they've also done is that they separate the letter already at the house. So when you have water, when you have glass, you have plastic, you have card box, you have non-recyclable stuff, already at your house, you got to separate that. When they have regular community meetings, you go there and everybody works. They got everybody in Orania has got a job. There's some guys they told me that came there with a plastic bag with nowhere to go. And they will get to you, they have what they call, they have a name for the can't remember it now, where they will come and give you a job and they'll give you accommodation. The restaurant we ate at, for instance, then uh, the lady came there and she first stayed at a small accommodation for people struggling. Today she's a restaurant owner. Now you can't you can't go there and, and not and not be inspired by seeing they are Orania is currently a construction site. It's currently a construction site. Orania doesn't have unemployment. Everybody there works. Orania at the moment is a clean place. Orania has got plans to get off the grid totally. Orania is a town, everybody, including myself. I went there thinking this town is, 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 is in the past. It's a relic of the past. It's stuck in the past. But living there, it's a futuristic town. I mean, they got two private schools in Orania. The most impressive thing for me is that they got a technical uh, college mm. where they 
teaching. We've closed our technical colleges. More mm -hmm. than that is they farming. The farming pickle nuts, wheat, uh, which they export, export quality to China, to Europe. Now, whether, whether you agree with them, whether you don't agree with them, but those are things happening that we should be emulating from our leaders go to China all the time, go to Dubai on a fake fight to go and learn in the States. They're going to learn stuff that's happening right here in Orania. And I'm saying that even the ones that are family of Twitter, yeah. Can I tell you why there's a bit of like backlash or possibly why there is? I mean, I, I'm not sure, yeah. but um, because of their hesitation and their unwillingness to incorporate the diversity of races and cultures in Urania. So I get what you're saying about systems in place. They obviously have a system and a process that works for them. But do you not see the racism element there where they do not want to engage with anybody else that's not us? I mean, like, I don't understand. Why are people so obsessed with the whole thing of racism? And I'm so sick and tired of this whole thing of racism, man. Why are people so obsessed with the whole thing of racism? I don't understand it. I don't. Because right now, people are, tr are, are simply looking at Orania and the only thing that they want to talk about is the fact that those people there are racist. But out of all those things that Gaten McKenzie talked about, to, spoke about, they don't want to talk about those things. They don't want to talk about the fact that Orania is clean. They don't want to talk about the fact that the, the, the Orania government created a conducive environment where, everyone, where, where it's possible for everyone to get a job. They don't want to talk about the fact that Orania still has technical schools. Like, those are the things that in, in, in black communities we should look at, man. All this, like, this thing of us always focusing on, races, on, on racism, I don't think is doing us any favor, man. It's not doing us any favor, man. It's not doing us any favor. This is the reason why black people work so hard only to take their kids to, 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 to white people's school. Black people work so hard to take their kids to white people's school, man. And it is a problem. In the black community, that thing, it is a problem because it says a lot of things about us as a black community. Because right now, you can look at these schools in our townships, man. You can look at the behavior of the teachers in these schools in our townships. We know how the teachers behave in schools in our townships. Man, we don't even have sports in our townships anymore. We don't have sports, man. We are not participating in anything. When, when the schools are closed, the kids are doing nothing in our townships. And our townships are dirty as hell. Even as communities, man, we can't even gather ourselves as communities and be like, okay, guys, this is how we are going to clean our community. One section is going to do, to do it this week and the next section. Like, any way that you guys can, can, can work it so that you can clean your own community. I mean, like, right now you can see that the government doesn't want to clean our own community. Man, our own communities, our own townships have turned into illegal dumpings, man. Every corner that you, every corner in our township is an illegal dumping. And that thing is not necessary and it, it, it is not fair, especially for people who live close to, the, to, 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 that, to, the, to that illegal dumping, man. Every corner in our, in, in, in our, in, in, in our township is, 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 an illegal, is, an, is an illegal dumping. Every corner, man. And when you look at our communities, man, people are not working in our communities, man. Our townships are dirty, man. Our towns are dirty. These are the things that we should learn from the people of Orania. I mean, why, are we, why, why is the only thing that we want to talk about when we talk about Orania? Why the first thing that we want to talk about is, is, is racism? Why don't we want to talk about the fact that that town is thriving? And what is it that we can learn from these people so that our own towns can thrive too? I don't, I don't get this whole thing of always being so obsessed with racism. Man, there's so much we can learn from other people, man. Black people need to understand that there's so much that you can learn from other people. And just like Gideon McKenzie said, you can learn from your enemies and you can learn from your friends, man. Just because you are not, you, just because you do not, you don't agree with the whole setup of Orania, just because you don't like the whole setup of Orania, it doesn't mean that everything that those people in Orania are doing is wrong, man. Our technical schools are closed, man. Look right now. How many people are, in, are unemployed in our townships? How many people are simply roaming around in our townships? Our graduates are turning into drug addicts, man. But the only thing that we want to talk about is, is, is it's racism, man. It's racism. As black people, man, we don't want to build our own things. We don't want to build our own things. We don't want to build anything, man. Instead of actually fighting our government and actually trying to, 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 to make them see that, okay, guys, our education system is a shame. 
It's not necessary for black people to send their kids to white schools to get better education. It is not necessary. There are so many schools in our townships. There are so many schools in our townships. Why don't we fight for, our, for, for, for the education of our kids to be better? Why don't we fight for that? Isn't that something that we, we should fight for? Why don't we fight for the fact that there's no more sports in, in, in our townships? Why don't we fight? Like, like kids are not even participating in anything right now in our townships, man. Kids are doing nothing. Are doing nothing. That's why it is so easy for them to, 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 to get hooked up with drugs. That's why it is so easy for these 16 year olds to go to the taverns and get drunk and, 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 and end up being pregnant. It is so easy. That's why the, the, that's why even the, the teenage pregnancy among in the black community is so rife, man. It's because the kids in our townships are doing nothing. And as adults, we are we, 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 the only thing that we can learn from white people, the only thing that we want to look at when we look at white people is the fact that these people are racist. Do you want to look at Orania? The only thing that you want to look at when you look at Orania is, the, is that these people are racist. You don't want to look at the fact that these people are actually working, man. You don't want to look at the fact that these people as a community, they are, they, they are working together as communities, man. They don't want their towns to be dirty, man. They don't want their towns to be dirty like us, man. Just go to our townships, man. Go to every single township in South Africa, man. Every corner, man. People are dumping there. Every corner, man. It's sewage anyway. Every street, man. There's sewage spilling anyway. So, guys, are you honestly telling me that there's nothing that we can learn from people of Orania? Honestly, guys, there's nothing. As black people, there's nothing that we can learn from Orania, man. Right now, people were so outraged at, at Gaten McKenzie for visiting Orania, man. Just imagine, man, you are so outraged at someone for, for, for visiting a place to learn how people do things in that place so that that place, so that, that place thrives, man. This man didn't go there and, and, and started saying, fuck South Africans, man, now I live on Orania. He didn't do that. Gaten McKenzie didn't go to Orania and start saying, fuck South Africans, man. Gaten McKenzie went to Orania and he saw how things are in Orania. And he said, whoa, guys, we really need to learn from these people. We really need to learn the things that these people are doing so that our communities can be better, man. No, guys, man. As black communities, man, man, man we should build our own things, man. We should build our own things, man. Parents, parents should, should like the, the black parents, man, they don't want to get involved in, 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 in anything. That has to do with their with their schools. They don't want to get involved. Their kids go to school. They come back. They don't. They don't care about anything. They don't care about the fact that the, our education system is a shame, man. As long as as long as their kids wear the uniform in the morning and go to school, they are fine with that. They are fine with that, man. No, guys, man. This whole thing of people being outraged at getting my kids, I don't understand that. I don't get it, guys. I don't get it and it's okay you it's okay if you are if you feel different from me it's okay because me as a black person i say that there's a lot that we can learn from people of orania i'm saying there's a lot that we can learn it can't be that every time when we look at orania the first thing that we say is that these people are racist why don't we say like all of these people in this town are working what is it that these people are doing so that every single person in their town is working what is it that they are doing our communities are so plagued with unemployment right now. Millions and millions of young people are not working in South Africa right now. And we want to focus on racism. Nah, guys, man. Africana. I do see that. Nelson Mandela, first person, one of the first few people he met when he came out of jail, was Betsy Fervurt, the wife of the father of apartheid. Now, that's the only way to, to reach out and to sort out the problem is engagement. Now we must be angry with them and say, you racist, and point out, let's engage them. Let's talk to them. So from your engagement, what did you get? What, what, what was the point of this visit? What, what's going to happen now moving forward? You know what they do, you know how their processes work. What do you mean, what was the point of this whole visit? Man, Gaten McKenzie literally just explained to you what was the point of the visit. What do you mean, what is the point of this visit, man? What's wrong with this journalist, man? What do you mean, what was the point of the visit when Gaten McKenzie literally explained what was the point of the visit? You've spoken about their bank, how they farm, yeah. their schools, what now? Well, the first thing, they were very smart, I must tell you. They bought private land from the government for, I think, 1 million or 1.5 million, 800 hectares. 
So this is a private, a Rania is situated on private land. They then went to court, and in the wisdom of our government, they then settled with Orania, that they can have their own municipality. So that's in the record of the court. Where I am sitting is that, is Orania right? I don't think he's right. I don't think places like Orania should exist, number one. But I need to understand what is it about, and, and, and I'm, sympath I'm, I'm sympathetic towards some of the things they told me. For instance, they said to me, the Afrikaner culture, they want to preserve the Afrikaner culture. But I speak Afrikaans, Afrikaans is my first language, and there's a war against Africans by the current politicians. Hate Africans, there's a war. And that's exactly. my first language, and the people I represent mostly speak Africans. If you're going to take Africans, and there's people saying, we want to preserve the language. And I can't come with a counter argument and say there's no attack on Africans. You see, the problem that I have with people that is unhappy that this is my life, I take decisions. And if, I do, if you want to go to Orania, don't go. But I go where I want to go because I didn't ask you for diesel money to go to Orania. Okay, let's move on <laughs> exactly. to another issue now about uh, coalitions. Kenny Kunene did not succeed in becoming the city of Joburg. So guys, what do you think about Gajin McKenzie going to Orania? I mean, what are your thoughts on Orania? I mean, do you believe that black people, do you think that black people can learn from, from Orania? Or do you honestly believe that there's nothing that we can learn from Orania as black people? I mean, what are your thoughts on this? Please guys, please tell me on the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button and the most important part guys, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.